Researchers are doing some experiments to find the refractive index of medium X. They trace the paths of two rays of light near the boundary between medium X and air. They use a protractor to measure two angles. A and B are explained before. Question C. State the critical angle of medium X. D. Calculate the refractive index of medium X. Actually, answering point D depends on the answer of C. In this question, students will have two problems. One problem is common, and the second problem is specific for this question. The first problem the student will face is that most students don't know how to identify the critical angle. First, we need to remember what is the critical angle. A critical angle is the angle of incidence from denser medium. This means it's in medium X, the denser one, which causes the ray to refract along the surface or along the boundary between the two mediums. Because of this definition, of course you cannot use the diagram on your left. It has no rays that are along the surface. I think we will use the one on the right. This is the one that can help us to find the critical angle. Remember, we cannot do anything in opticals without drawing the normal. This is the normal. Because the refracted ray is along the surface, this means that the angle of refraction is 90. Remember that we take the angles with the normal, not with the surface. So, where is the critical angle? Critical angle is inside medium X, and it's opposite to the angle 90. It's the angle of incidence in this case. So, the critical angle is the opposite to the 90, not the 90 itself. And it must be in the denser medium. So, two conditions help you to find where is the critical angle. The first one is that it's in the denser medium. The second thing is that it's opposite to the 90, the angle of refraction. This is the first problem, which is where is the critical angle? The second problem, which is specific for this question specially, is how to measure the critical angle. Actually, the protractor is drawn in the diagram by the examiner himself. In fact, this protractor is not positioned correctly because the zero of the protractor must be on the normal. This protractor, the 90, is on the normal. We need to measure this angle which is between 47 and 90. This angle is 90 minus 47, 43. So, our critical angle in this case is 43. In D, to calculate the refractive index of medium X, we have another rule for the refractive index. Remember from before, we said sine angle in air divided by sine angle in medium. We also had refractive index equals speed of light in air divided by speed of light in medium. And here is a third rule, which is refractive index equals 1 divided by sine the critical angle. Of course, you cannot use this equation unless you have the critical angle previously. So, refractive index equals 1 divided by sine 43. So, the refractive index is 1.47. Remember that the refractive index does not have any units. Next question E. The speed of light in air is 3 times 10 power 8 meter per second. Use the refractive index you calculated in D to calculate the speed of light in medium X, showing all you're working. I think now we need the rule. Refractive index equals speed of light in air divided by speed of light in medium. From D, we calculated the refractive index equals 1.47. Speed of light in air is 3 times 10 power 8. By doing our calculations, you can find that the speed of light in glass is 2.04. 
times 10 power 8 meters per second. Do not forget the unit.